If you guys already didn't know, my name is Morgan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best lemon cupcakes ever. Like, they're seriously so good. I think I ate, like, three for, like, breakfast on Mother's Day last year. I'm telling you, they are delicious. So let's get started. This is what you're going to want. You're going to want half a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, two eggs at room temperature, one cup of granulated sugar, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two things that I don't have measured out is my one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, um, my third cup of fresh lemon juice, my lemons are over here, and then my half a cup of whole milk and one and a half tablespoons of lemon zest. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees, mine's already preheated. Add your paddle attachment to your KitchenAid mixer or your handstand mixer. And yeah, let's get into making this um, cupcakes. Alrighty, so we are going to beat our room temperature unsalted butter. And then our half a cup of, sh one cup of sugar, granulated sugar on medium high speed in a large bowl until creamed. After it is beat it, it should look like this. And then we're going to scrape down our sides, which mine are pretty much scraped down in the time lapse. But I'll still scrape them down anyways to get like, all those little pieces of sugar. And then we're going to add eggs and our vanilla. So here is one egg at room temp. And here is my other egg at room temp. And then we are going to add our vanilla extract. So here's my vanilla. And you need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So what is this? There's one teaspoon. I don't know if you guys can see. One teaspoon of my vanilla. And here goes another half a teaspoon of vanilla. Whoops, I put a little extra. But let's go ahead and beat that. So after everything is combined, I think I need to script mine and add this in here but I'm gonna scrape my sides I'm gonna mix it one more time and then we are going to set this aside so we are going to now use a medium-sized bowl and let's get a handy dandy whisk for us to use here and we are going to combine our flour so there is one and a half cups this one has like water so we'll try to get that all out as best as we can okay and then add in your baking powder which is two teaspoons and then go ahead and add in your half a teaspoon of salt and whisk this together like so before i add in my dry ingredients with my wet ingredients i already pre-rolled my lemons i'm not sure how many i need i just rolled four because you're just going to need zest from about one and that's only the yellow part you don't want the white part because that's just like the lemon so i just i rolled these really well i'm not sure how juicy these are going to be but um yeah you're only going to need a third cup of lemon juice all right so this may or may not be the same angle as last time because as just you saw i show you how to combine our handy dandy flour okay so we are going to add in our flour our flour combination with our wet ingredients which is this right here and I'm going to put it on slow which is this slow and then I'm just gonna take about half a cup 
and whoops, slowly dump it in there. Mine's kind of getting a little bit doughy, but go ahead and turn it on slow and add in your half cup of milk. And then I'm going to squeeze out my lemon juice right now. I'm going to go ahead and add in my lemon juice. I have to put a strainer here. I don't know how this is going to work. But we have, I'm actually just going to pour it in first. You're supposed to mix it in. But I have seeds in my lemon juice. So I'm just going to go like this. And there it is your third cup of lemon juice. And I caught all of my um, seeds. Right, after like 10 minutes of grating, put it on low, and add in your one and a half tablespoons of lemon zest. Mm -mm. And that is it. Just let it mix in and strip the sides and off the box. This is the best angle, but I'm going to go ahead and take my batter out of the dish. And I lined two a 12 um, cupcake liners with, oh my gosh, cupcake pans and I'm just gonna mix up my beautiful cake okay, let's go ahead and mix it's really good you guys I haven't eaten one in a while but. take your cupcake liner and your cake batter a cookie dough scoop which I prefer to use and fill it up like so and plop it in and just continue that after I'm done filling both trays these obviously need more So I'm going to see if I can find like a teaspoon or something. So after this, I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon with the leftover cake batter that I have. I mean, um, cake, cupcake batter. So yeah, let's get into that. I was able to make 14 full size. So this is a full size tray. And then these ones will be able to fill a quarter. These are the two filled ones here. I now cook these in the oven for 18 to 22 minutes at 350 degrees. These are how my cupcakes turned out. These are the two full and these are all like half because I ran out of batter. But this is my full tray so I'm gonna go ahead about to make the frosting and then I will come back. The frosting, I totally forgot to take my butter out because it's been an early morning. It is uh, Sunday, Easter, hard as a rock. So go ahead and put it in your microwave in the center. In the center and then Turn it on for nine seconds. Once it's done, flip it around the other way, okay? Like, so it goes like this. Flip it that way. Nine more seconds, and then, you, whoops. Nine more seconds, and then you have the perfect room temperature. Oh my gosh, butter. Get out. Perfect room temp. Well, this one, the thing actually went on hold, but perfect room temperature butter. So this is how the cupcakes turned out. A little change or something here got any comforter but that is pretty much it for today for today's video you guys um they are super delicious and they have a great intense flavor of lemon if you really like citrusy or just like lemon in general so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i really hope you guys get to make this recipe it is absolutely delicious make sure you guys follow me on instagram um like comment subscribe and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys